Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about this topic intervals as subsets of R. R is the set of real numbers. Okay, see R is the set of real numbers. That means rational numbers plus irrational numbers will be there in the set of real numbers. So let small letter a comma b belongs to R. Okay, a is an element which is in the set R. B is also an element which is in the set R. And it is given that the element A, it is less than the element B. Okay, that is for example, if A is equal to 3, then B is equal to, suppose it is 5. Okay, both are uh, in the set of real numbers. And you see uh, A is 3, so 3 is less than 5, no, like that. Now, let A comma B belongs to R and A less than B. Then, the set of real numbers y such that a less than y less than b is written in self builder form like this. That is if you consider the set of real numbers y, y is the set of real numbers such that a less than y less than b. That is y is a real number, it is a set of real numbers but it is greater than that of a but less than that of b. So, in set builder form, we will write like this and this is actually called as an open interval, open interval AB. Open interval AB is written like this, two open brackets. Okay, that is Y is a real number which lies between A and B. That is all the points between A and B belong to this, op I mean belong to the open interval AB, but this A and B themselves do not belong to this interval. Okay, all the points between A and B will be there. We have to consider them. But the, these two points, A and B, they themselves do not belong to this interval. So, we don't want to consider them. For example, if we consider this open interval, minus 3, 5, then the numbers belong to this interval will be greater than minus 3, and less than 5. So, the elements belong to this interval will be what? Greater than minus 3, but less than 5. So, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that is you see we are considering the real number set here. So, there can be infinitely many numbers between minus 3 and 5 actually. I have written a few. Okay. But you see, we can consider minus 2.1. We can consider 1.5, 2.3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3 .3, etc. So, there will be infinitely many numbers between minus 3 and 5. I have written a few only. Okay. So, when we write the elements in this open interval, we won't consider this minus 3 and 5. These two numbers do not belong to this interval. Now, on a real number line, we represent an open interval AB like this. This is how we represent an open interval AB. Okay, that is you see, this interval actually contains, uh, you know, uh, does not contain these two endpoints A and B. So, that is why it is like an open circle and they are joined by a straight line. So, this is how on a real number line we represent an open interval AB. Now, the interval which contains the endpoints also, that is actually called as a closed interval. See, a closed interval is represented like this. It is denoted by, you know, two closed brackets. Within, within the two closed brackets, we will write A comma B. That is, the closed interval A comma B, it is actually defined as it is a set of all x such that A less than or equal to x less than or equal to B. Okay, that is, this, I mean, this interval contains both A and B, the endpoints. Okay, so here you see the set of all x, but x is either equal to A and greater than A and it can be equal to B as well the elements which are less than B2. For example, if you consider a real number set that is minus 7 comma, 
നയൻ ദി എലമെന്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ക്ലോസ്ഡ് ഇന്റർവൽ മൈനസ് സെവൻ നയൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് ബോത്ത് മൈനസ് സെവൻ ആൻഡ് നയൻ സോ യു സി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രോം മൈനസ് സെവൻ ദ ക്യാൻ ബി ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ്ലി മെനി നമ്പേഴ്സ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ മൈനസ് സെവൻ ആൻഡ് നയൻ ബട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു കൺസിഡർ ദീസ് ടു നമ്പേഴ്സ് ആസ് വെൽ ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് യു സി യു ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈനസ് സെവൻ യു ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ മൈനസ് സിക്സ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദം മൈനസ് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് വൺ മൈനസ് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ടു മൈനസ് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ എക്സെട്രാ ഓക്കെ ദൻ സീറോ വൺ ടു ത്രീ ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് വൺ ടു പോയിന്റ് വൺ ടു പോയിന്റ് ടു ടു പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ്ലി മെനി നമ്പേഴ്സ് വിൽ ബി ദർ ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ മൈനസ് സെവൻ ആൻഡ് നയൻ ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻസ് മൈനസ് സെവൻ ആൻഡ് നയൻ ഓൾസോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദി ഡിഫറൻസ് ഫ്രം ദി ഓപ്പൺ ഇൻഡവൽ all right in the open interval we uh, you know the end points they do not belong to the interval but in the case of closed interval that contains the end points as well so we have to consider the end points as well and on a real number line we we represent a closed interval closed interval a comma b like this you see the two circles are now it is shaded okay so this is how we represent a closed interval ab on a real number line see we can also have intervals closed at one end and open at the other so this is one such interval it is closed at the left end and open at the right end this is defined as the set of all x such that a less than or equal to x less than b that is in this interval we have to consider this left end element a and the elements greater than a but the elements must be less than b you should not consider this end element b okay so this is an open interval from a to b including a but excluding b that is not including b and this is how we represent this open interval you see a is included b is not included now we can consider an another open interval which is open at the left end closed at the right end okay this is defined as a set of all x such that a less than x less than or equal to b that is the elements in this set must be greater than a not including a and it it must be less than or equal to b that is including b so it is an open interval starting from a to b including b but excluding a on a real number line we represent this open interval like this you see a is not included but e b is included that is why it is shaded now let us consider a set a that is uh, given as an interval open interval minus 3 5 So you see the elements in this interval should not include this minus 3 number that is greater than minus 3 but less than 5. Okay so you see uh, minus 2 belongs to this, minus 1 belongs to this, 3 belongs to this, 4 belongs to this. There will be infinitely many numbers between minus 3 and 5. Then we are considering an another set B. It is, it is also given as an interval, closed interval minus 7, 9. so both these endpoints minus 7 and 9 are included so you can start from minus 7 minus 6 is included minus 5 is included okay then you see 0 uh, is included all right 8 is included the endpoint 9 is also included there can also be many points between many numbers between minus 7 and 9 and here you see all the numbers in a will be there in b no all the numbers in a because you see a has elements greater than minus 3 but less than 5 they will be here itself because you see b has numbers starting from minus 7 to 9 so all the numbers in a will be there in b so we can say that a is a subset of b all right now if you consider this interval all right see this is closed at the right end sorry left end and open at the right end okay this interval zero infinity no so this has you know you have to consider 
the number 0, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. till infinity. Alright, that is you, you will be having all the negative real numbers in this interval or this set will have all the non-negative real numbers. All the non-negative real numbers means all the positive real numbers. Now, let us consider this open interval my, or consider this set minus infinity to 0. You see, the left end and right end, they are open. So, minus infinity is not included, 0 is also not included. So, in between all the numbers, real numbers will be there in this set. So, this actually defines a set of negative real numbers because you see, from minus infinity to 0, you will get positive numbers which is actually greater than 0 but uh, 0 is not included here. So, all the numbers will be less than 0. So, this actually defines the set of negative real numbers. Okay. Now, if you consider this set, that is minus infinity to infinity. So, you see from minus infinity to infinity, minus infinity is not included. Infinity is also not included but in between all the real numbers will be there in this set. So, this actually describes the set of real numbers. Alright. Now, the set uh, which is written like this, that is set of all x such that x belongs to r comma minus 5 less than x less than or equal to 7. See this is a set which is written in set builder form. So in the form of interval how can it be written? You see this set will have elements which are actually real numbers and the numbers will be greater than minus 5. Mi uh, minus 5 was not included like, because there is no equal. I mean less, it is not like less than or equal. It is actually minus 5 less than x. So, minus 5 is not included. So, this side is open interval minus 5. 7 is included. So, this side closed interval 7. So, in the form of interval, this set in set builder form will be written like this. Now, if you consider this interval, that is minus 3, 5. See, the left side is closed and right side is open. So, minus 3 is included. 5 is not included. So, in set builder form, we can write it as set of all x such that minus 3 is included. So, minus 3 less than or equal to x. 5 is not included. So, less than 5. Okay. Now, we have discussed the four types of intervals. For any of the four intervals, that is both side open, one side closed and one side open, both side closed. For any of these four intervals, the number b minus a that is actually called as the length of the interval. Okay, that is if you consider this interval uh, 3, 5. Okay, then b minus a that is 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 that is the length of the interval. So, in this video we have discussed about the topic intervals as subsets of r. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you.